Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm hoping to go over what's quite possibly one of the biggest underground metal bamboozles of 2019. So who you're seeing here next to my head is uh, Mr. Krzysztof Drabikowski, Polish musician, multi-instrumentalist, producer, songwriter, and allegedly the mastermind of a metal project out of Poland that goes by the name of Batushka. Now, you might remember this name. This might be familiar to you because I did do a segment on my main review channel a while ago where I had talked about uh, how I had recently come into contact with the band's music after seeing their debut album cover and passing a couple of times, but then later down the road trying the album and, uh, and really enjoying it and wishing that uh, I had reviewed the album upon initial release because it is actually a really creative and fun and interesting black metal album. I will uh, put the page up for it on Rate Your Music over here. It's a great record. It's uh, not only a solid black metal album, it's got quality production. And on top of that, what makes Batushka stand out as a black metal project is that there are these elements of, of like a, of a Christian religious chants uh, thrown into the mix, which uh, just kind of makes the aesthetic and makes the style really interesting. It's, it's just sort of a, a unique flair that the uh, Batushka project has. Now, what uh, Christoph is saying here in this, in this announcement is pretty disheartening, especially considering that I was looking forward to the next album from this project. Uh, but he goes into some detail as to how the first album came about. As he says, he came up with the concept, came up with the front cover, composed and recorded the album, but, but needed the aid of a drummer and a singer to come and kind of fill it out and just do certain parts of the record properly, do the record, do his compositions true justice. So then the album eventually came out. There was this pressure to tour live and then even more pressure to come out with another record because there was this huge online online cult following, uh, just demanding more music and, and sort of a, a turning Batushka and the new hot commodity in the underground metal scene. And according to Kristoff, the singer whose last name is uh, Krishuk, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but the singer who he brought onto the record, who also ran the label the debut Batushka record came out on, pressuring Kristoff, we need a new album, when's the new album coming out? He's taken his time, taking his time composing it, it's taken a while, and according to him, the singer goes behind his back and records a new album, a new Batushka record, with other musicians intending to release that album as the new Batushka album, which is incredibly disturbing <laughs> and scummy. And apparently how it progressed from there is Kristoff has been stripped, according to him in this statement, which you can also read in the description box. He says that from there, he was stripped of some of the Batushka social media accounts. Clearly he still has access to the YouTube channel, but the Instagram account is no longer under his control. The Facebook account is no longer under his control. And he says, or from what I've read, even, even the trademark of, of Batushka has been stripped of him. And what's worse on top of all of this, because as, as if this wasn't bad enough, is that this Batushka record that he alleges was recorded behind his back has a release date <laughs> this coming Friday on Metal Blade Records. Now, I've, I've known about this story for a little while now. As you, as you can see here, the, uh, the original statement here explaining the situation, according to Kristoff, uh, came out in December of last year. And I was hoping since this video, there'd be some kind of significant developments or explanation on the part of Batushka or Metal Blade to kind of dispel his statements, dispel them if they are just in fact baseless rumors. I mean, after all, this video has gotten um, well over 100,000 views. There, there are thousands of comments of support under this video. And anything Batushka does anywhere online, it's met with a ton of comments saying, F you, who cares? You're a thief. Just like totally telling them off. And Batushka has done their best on these social media accounts on Facebook, on Instagram to 
sanitize the comments, prevent comments, prevent dislikes, that sort of thing. And even Metal Blade on, on the YouTube videos, uh, the newer music videos for Batushka, they are blocking comments. They're preventing people from being able to dislike the video because they don't want people to see the negative reception and, and get the full story, uh, according to Kristoff over here, as to how the project has been stripped of him. So this record... Again, it's coming out this Friday. I've not only heard the preview tracks to it, I had an early access stream and, and I've heard much of the album. And Kristoff, this past May, I guess in an effort to beat the other Batushka album release date, came out with his own record on, you know, essentially, essentially the spiritual successor of, of the debut Batushka record. And if I were to pick between both of these albums, which of these two records is, I, I guess, the stylistic, the aesthetic successor to this, I would have to pick the Kristoff album. I mean, stylistically, it's the most alike the debut. I mean, the production is kind of rough. I think some of the uh, compositions aren't nearly as dynamic as they are on this record over here. However, uh, I have to assume, given the situation, that he wasn't recording <laughs> under the most positive, functional, uh, or helpful circumstances. Uh, this record, in comparison, has uh, leagues better production, is much heavier, um, more dynamic compositionally. However, uh, I don't think it's stylistically as similar to this record over here. Sure, some of the religious chants are worked into the compositions on this album, but they are not as prevalent. They don't play as central a role as they do on this record or this record, which again leads me to believe that what Kristoff is saying about him masterminding the group, developing the group, eventually coming up with the idea and, and being the main brain of the group has to be true because I, I don't think you could come this close to sounding exactly like this <laughs> just by accident. Um, again, this record from what I'm hearing so far sounds fine. It sounds okay, but I don't get why you needed to steal or grab the name. I mean, geez, if you're a member of the band, come out and say, hey, I'm coming out with a solo project, especially since this record in my view comes out pretty different stylistically in comparison with this. So again, what's disturbing here is the trademark, the name, the band, the idea, the art, it's being ripped away from Kristoff over here. On top of that, Metal Blade is pretty much endorsing this with the release of this album, with uh, the, the silencing of social media critique, criticism, opinion on this whole situation. Uh, and from what I can tell, the band and Metal Blade collectively are not really doing much to dispel these rumors, if in fact they are baseless rumors, if somebody came out tomorrow and said, hey, I, I invented Anthony Fantano's YouTube channel and told him to review music and this, that, and the other thing, and that was untrue, yeah, I'd be coming out <laughs> and saying, hey, this is untrue, especially if it were uh, gaining steam in the online community and people were questioning my legitimacy. Uh, however, that's not what Metal Blade or Batushka is doing. In fact, I checked the most recent uh, Metal Blade press release for this record that was sent to me in my inbox, and there was no mention of this. There was no mention of any of this, okay? They were talking about how the new album over here was recorded in a more organic, you know, live setting, and hey, all of that's cool. I love recordings like that. Uh, however, that's besides the point. Uh, that does not explain how terrible this is. That does not explain how terrible this is. So, yeah, frankly, I, I'm offended. You know, I'm offended. I think this is awful. I think this is terrible. Uh, once more, I think both of these albums, if you're just listening to them objectively and not paying attention to any of this, I mean, they're fine. They're entertaining. I think they're creative black metal records, but I don't understand why this needed to happen in order for both of these albums to exist. Once more, I'm commenting on this from an outsider perspective. You know, I don't know any of these people. Uh, but what I do know is that as a label with the reputation that Metal Blade has, and as a band with the profile that Batushka has, uh, given their passionate online following, given the profile that they now have being on Metal Blade, this is not something that you can just sweep under the rug. 
okay? I mean, the metal community is very insular. It's very self-aware. Word spreads quickly. It's not just something that you can act like isn't happening, act like isn't there, because it's going to impact record sales. It's going to impact reputations. It's going to impact the way people look at you and interact with you, uh, because this is incredibly disappointing if, in fact, everything Kristoff is saying here is 100% true. And Metal Blade and Batushka have had all the time in the world, one could say seven whole months, <laughs> to uh, explain, dispel, uh, set the record straight, if, in fact, any of those things were even possible. But instead, they're not. They're just being quiet. They're just hoping you're not paying attention. And frankly, I find that uh, really concerning, really concerning. The, the music industry already, already has an awful reputation for how it treats artists, whether or not it values art, whether or not it values listeners. And I feel like instances such as these only serve to reinforce that reputation. And I, I would hope that anybody working in the music industry in any capacity in 2019 would be doing everything they can to change the image of the music industry for the better. But it would seem that there are some people who just don't really care about that and would much rather just try to line their pockets any way they possibly can. Morality be damned, I suppose. So those are my thoughts. Again, allegations and again, from an outsider perspective, but still the fact that this is going unaddressed is pretty weird. Uh, over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Batushka, forever.